Alright boys, it's that time again. Disney released the first two episodes of their new Star Wars show, The Acolyte. I figured I'd give my two cents on whether The Acolyte is going to be more Disney slop or a diamond in the rough. So first things first, they fucked up the Pneumonians. Erm, um, uh, what happened to their accents? Where's my funny Japanese accents? Oh, but Rigosa, that's racist. Having a species based around a stereotype of an ethnicity is bad. Womp womp. Give me my goddamn funny voices back. The majority of their appearances in the movies and TV shows, Nimodians had a Japanese accent, all right? Or at least an accent that you can be like, oh yeah, that's definitely a Nimodian. But fine, whatever. The main dude sounded okay, I guess. But the other lady, the other lady Nimodian, Oh, God, Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. I wanted to throttle that bitch. Every time she opened that goddamn mouth, the urge to curb stop the bitch grew. I'm not sure what they told the actor to do or how the actor interpreted their lines, but whoever was responsible for that foul creature, they need to be fired immediately. Uh, the, uh, mechnics are on it, Captain. Shut up! Sorry, what was I doing again? Oh, right, right. Uh, what did I think of the first two episodes of The Acolyte? Well, as first impressions goes, I wasn't impressed with what I saw, but I wasn't severely disappointed either. I do think there is potential for the show to be a well-rounded, serviceable product, but with just two episodes, I thought they were bland with some decent moments. The biggest upside to the Alkalite is for sure the fight scenes. Definitely a big improvement from Ahsoka, uh, where the movement doesn't feel so slow, but is it as amazing as the fight scenes from Phantom Menace? Something on record they've said that they want to strive for. Well, from what I saw, no, not really. The first fight scene we got was cool, but any other fight scene was just alright. Which can be said about anything else in the show. It's alright. It's okay. The characters, the acting, the music, the scenes, the dialogue. Majority of it was fine. The acting and dialogue, though, is on a thin line where it can be considered bad. But again, we're just at two episodes, so I'll leave it at that for now. Even though the show currently is fine, I just think it's more of a negative thing than a positive. The Acolyte is playing it way too safe. I want to see something more memorable, something that'll stay with me months after watching the show. Maybe I'll be able to see that in the next few episodes, but right now it's not looking too good. The only thing I'm personally looking forward to is the Sith Lord in the show. His helmet looks dope and his voice is something I fuck with. I just pray that his character is properly integrated in the show as a real force to be reckoned with and not some boogie man that you can defeat with some holy water. As it stands right now, the Acolyte may have some potential to be a good overall rounded show, but I'm not holding my breath. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being another mid-Star Wars show. Yet another to watch once and forget the next month. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the show. Let me know what y'all thought of the first two episodes of the Acolyte in the comments. With all that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye, for now.